Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hamster bin at home. It's super cheap and easy. It was less than $30 to make the enclosure and then of course the price of the items inside, but it's so much cheaper than spending over $100 on a cage. To get started with the items that you need, you need a quart bin that comes out bigger than the ideal 450 square inch size. So mine was a 90 quart bin and it came out to about 522 square inches, which is big enough for a hamster. Then you're gonna need some chicken wire, a drill, possibly a Dremel, I'd recommend a Dremel, some duct tape, zip ties, a ruler, and something to mark your place with. I ended up using a knife and heating it up, but if you have a Dremel, please use it. I promise it will be so much easier. So the first thing I did was I measured out how much of the chicken wire I wanted to use and I marked how wide it was and then I used my ruler to mark a big square and I ended up cutting that out. As you can see, I was heating up the knife and cutting. Please be very careful if you use this method. It did work. It took a long time, but it did work. If you have some type of like dremeling tool that you can just cut through plastic, I definitely recommend that the safest way. But I didn't have that, so um, I used a knife. But you could see what I'm doing. I just literally cut it out. So I started taking my drill and drilling holes throughout the entire side of the bin which will attach it all together. Be careful with the chicken wire, it's very pointy and I did cut myself quite a bit. A lot of people recommend using gloves. But you will see that I have kind of like a slope going above mine and that's because my wheel was too large for the court bin that I bought. So I had to make the chicken wire go up a little bit. And then I took some duct tape and I surrounded the entire lid with the duct tape just to cover all the pointy parts and just to make sure the hamster cannot get out. Okay, my little hamster. Uh, look at him. Boop. <laughs> He's like, bro. Now it was time to decorate. So I took my Carefresh bedding and my Clean and Cozy, I think that's what it's called, bedding, and I just put kind of like half and half just to have two different kinds. Um, make sure you do at least six inches of bedding in at least one portion because that's what hamsters like to do. They like to bury in it. And then I just started putting all my different hides and toys and things like that in there. And I had to keep making sure that the wheel was turning because I did have a lot of bedding in there. This was a couple days later and I was adding in a tunnel and a couple more different things just to enrich the enclosure a little bit more. I also added a bed. I'm going to keep close eye on the bed though because I know hamsters like to chew on things like that. But I think it came out really nice and I really like the way that it looks on the inside. I think it's really pretty. And I also added the sand bath holder over there but I'm eventually going to get a bigger one. I felt like the enclosure was a little too boring, so I bought these amethyst stone lights to add around the enclosure. I got them on Amazon and I'll put the link for them down below, but they're real amethyst and they're super pretty. They're battery run and they have a bunch of different settings, but I just wanted to add some light to the enclosure just to add some light sometimes. And I also cut little hearts out with the duct tape and I think it came out really cute. Here is the finished product. Here is what it looks like from the outside. I think the lights just add a really nice touch. And there's a bunch of different settings, but I'm gonna keep it on this setting just at night. And 
battery controlled. And just to make it look a little bit nicer, I made the duct tape into black hearts just so it looks a little bit cuter because the top of this is just so ugly. So I feel like it makes it look a little bit better. Now going in the inside over here, we have a hidey hole, the little sand critter bath. I actually drilled a couple holes for these, this water bottle and I hooked it into the side of this with, with the holes back there. Then I have my food dish. I have like this, this little extra water bowl. I'm, I'm gonna get a ceramic one. This is just all I have right now. Then I have the tunnel that goes under here and it comes out over there. Tried to bury it the best I could, but there's not too much more space for it. It is a pretty big one. And then I got some chew toys here. The wheel, of course, it does spin nicely. And then I have the little cute bed tucked in here with a chew toy. And that's pretty much it, but I am very proud of it. I think it looks so pretty.